Good evening, St Peter's. Today's lectionary reading is from Psalm 107, verses 1 to 3, and I've taken this from the Passion Translation. Let everyone give all their praise and thanks to the Lord. Here's why. He's better than anyone could ever imagine. Yes, he's always loving and kind, and his faithful love never ends. So go ahead, let everyone know it. Tell the world how he broke through and delivered you from the power of darkness and has gathered us together from all over the world. He has set us free to be his very own. This passage sums up a lot of what God has been doing in me in this lockdown season, and I think it's what he wants to do with his church, the bride, too. So I hope you don't mind if I spend a few minutes sharing some of what God's been teaching me, and I hope it encourages you. In the first few weeks of lockdown, I started experiencing intense fear, which is quite unusual for me. But God started speaking about how he was wanting to do a deeper work in my heart and bring me into a new freedom in preparation for the next season. He said two key weapons in this time are thankfulness and hope. And this is how Psalm 107 starts. Psalm 100 says that it is with thanksgiving that we enter his gates. So if you're feeling distant from him today, thanksgiving is a good place to start. It's definitely put my eyes back on God time and time again in this season when I've started to look at the circumstances instead of what God is doing. Another key area God keeps showing and wearing me daily with is his love. This psalm says he's always loving and kind and his faithful love never ends. Are we able to truly say that's how we know God personally? One day last month he said to me, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Do you trust me? I was honest and I said a lot of the time no. He said you need to be captivated by me. My love is supposed to be a constant feed like an IV drip. And there and then he filled me with his love so all fear and anxiety and anything else left and I felt joy and complete peace. That is what he wants each one of his children to feel constantly. We can't help be captivated by him when we experience his incredible love for us. There is no one or nothing else like him, and he wants to strip other idols and distractions this way so that we can come alive in his love. Lastly, the final part of this passage is about sharing our story of what God is doing. I believe he's setting us free to tell the world about him in a whole new way. His heart is broken for those who don't know him and he's convicting his church about this. We need to speak up on what God is doing in us to build each other up and then to share his incredible love to those who don't yet know it. I would love to finish by praying for us to have a greater hunger for Jesus. Jesus, you are King of Kings and you are on the throne and you have an incredible plan for each one of us in this season. Awaken our hearts even more to you, Jesus. For everyone who wants to know your love in a deeper way, I ask that you meet them in their innermost being and satisfy their thirst. We surrender our hearts to you again, Jesus. Prepare us for what you are planning next and give us boldness to share our story with others, to build each other up and speak out your light into the darkness. Amen. Bless you St Peter's, have a fantastic rest of the week.